Well guys, welcome back to the sawmill again today. It is a beauty of a day out there. It's nice and sunny. There's some clouds in the sky, but not a whole lot. And it's warming up quick. Can't believe it, but it might even be the first day of the year I have to go down to a t-shirt. I'm not quite there yet, but uh, it's still early in the morning. So by around noon or something, I might be down to a t-shirt. But anyways, name of the game today is i have this cherry log sitting on the mill i've been cutting a lot of cedar lately and by no means am i complaining about that cedar is a great tree um, to have around for lumber we have a lot of that on the farm but we also have quite a bit of cherry and just because i've been cutting so much cedar lately i've had a couple cherry logs sitting over behind the mill here for a while and i keep buying them up so I finally decided for a bit of a change of pace, so I'd throw one of them up here. Um, I think I'll just cut it into some four quarter boards. So I thought that'd be maybe a perfect opportunity to bring you guys along, show you my uh, process of cutting these up into some, cutting this cherry log up into some four quarter boards. So hope you stick around and see how I make out. Okay, so I got the cant made up here and I'll kind of show you that this scale on the right is the four quarter scale. Uh, so that's what I'm using to saw this cherry up right now. This gives you four quarter boards, which end up being about an inch and an eighth thick each. And you can kind of see what um, the way you have it set up is the top of this scale. It kind of works in reverse, but the top of this scale it is uh, an indicator of the bunks. So the top of this scale is a measurement right down to the top of the bunk there. So I know that from the top of the bunk and because I have my marker set up right on the top of the log right there i know that i can get seven four quarter boards from where i am now so now that i got this all done um like i purposely cut it at seven like you can notice that there's like a bit of bark and stuff but it's just the way that the log worked out like to cut the bark off i might need you know to go up to six and a half but there's not really much point in doing that because then i'll be left with half a board at the end too if that makes sense so i'd rather get uh a full four quarter inch board or yeah quarter uh, four quarter board right here now even though there's some bark on it because i can cut that out after it'll still be very usable and then uh i can go from there so that's why when i'm when you're cutting a log like this and you plan it out you i always like leave the cant at a mark 
if that makes sense. So now I know I can just go down to six, five, four, three, two, one, all the way down and take all the boards off and that'll leave me with seven four quarter boards. So that's what I'm gonna do now. You can see the blade there, crank it down to the six. And that'll be my next cut. And then I'll do five, four, three, two, one. Well guys, here's what it's looking like so far. Try to give you a good look. So that's after my first pass, got my first board here. There's actually quite a few knots in it, which isn't ideal for a lot of woodworking projects, but I'm sure there's plenty of things that it'll still be used for. There's what we're looking at guys almost through it I think I've got two more passes to make I can tell my blades starting to get a bit dull so it's always the dilemma of do I go get a new blade right now or do I just try to make the next two cuts and I seem to always go with just make the next two cuts and bring a blade back next time but uh, I've got away with it so far, so I guess I'll uh, keep doing it until I don't get away with it, although that's probably not the best strategy, but anyways, two more cuts, fingers crossed, hopefully I'll be able to get through it. Of course, if the next board I cut goes all wavy, then there's not much point. I'll pretty much almost have to go get a new blade, but anyways, I'm going to try it, see what happens. I know this kind of stuff's always hard to see on camera, but we'll take a look anyways. And yeah, I can see it just starting to get a few little waves in it. And I don't, I'm not sure it's, if it's picking up on camera, but that, that sometimes happens when you go through a knot anyways. So I'm not convinced it's because of the blade, but it very well could be because I already know that it's starting to go dull, but that's uh, well within being a reasonable piece of lumber in my opinion. So I think I'll go ahead and cut the last board too. And it's also kind of a little experiment on my part because then I can see if the uh, the next one's worse or not. And it's kind of always a learning process, in my opinion, to you know get the feel for when you should be changing a blade. I'm still at that point where I think think I've got it uh, pretty well dialed in. Like I'm pretty sure that this next cut would be like my absolute last pass I would want to make with this blade but 
I'm still just interested to see what the next piece of lumber looks like after I cut it and see if I'm right or wrong. I still always get a little nervous when I'm trying to cut the last one in board so close to all this metal stuff. <laughs> All right guys, got that log added to the stockpile of cherry here. I'm pretty happy with the amount of cherry that I'm getting stockpiled up. Uh, so I've got a lot of four quarter boards here. Underneath you can kind of see I've got quite a bit of live edge stuff too. So that's pretty neat. That's the first live edge stuff that I ever cut probably a couple months ago now. So getting a pretty good pile of cherry there too. and. I guess I could show you over here. I don't think uh, I've even mentioned it since I've started making YouTube videos that I've got a good pile of cherry here on this trailer too. And this is the first hardwood that I ever attempted cutting on the mill almost straight after I got it. And so there's a couple, couple stacks of cherry on this wagon too. So I'm doing pretty good as far as cherry lumber goes. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that, getting that all sawn up and it's drying on its way to being made into some woodworking projects in the future. Um, so that's one of the main hardwoods we have here on the farm. Another big one we have is a lot of maple and I would, don't have any of that cut drying right now. I have cut some maple on our farm before, but it almost directly went straight into one of the barns just on the the walls for the cows to bump into and whatnot so we have a lot of maple back in our hardwood bush it's just uh haven't really got a chance to get some pulled up here to the mill yet uh, i've been focusing on a lot of cedar and some of this cherry and uh right now is probably the absolute worst month for trying to get back and get logs pulled out it's just so muddy and we leave big ruts everywhere so with having a bunch of logs in here already, I'll probably focus on that. But in the near future, once it dries up a little bit, I would really like to get back, get some maple, get it in here and do the same thing. Just get it cut up into a lot of four quarter lumber and get it drying for future woodworking projects. But that'll be a video for another day, I think for today. I just thought it was, thought you guys might uh, like to see how I approach doing a bit of four quarter lumber, just one cherry log there, but got it up on the pile and uh, saw how I approach when a blade gets dull you can tell but sometimes you can eke out a few more boards and instead of having to run to wherever to get a blade uh, eventually obviously I'd like to have a nice setup with a roof or something here that I could just leave blades out back here but uh, that's not the case right now so sometimes uh, for better or worse so far it's been better but fingers crossed I just try to push through the last few cuts with the the blade your you know it's getting dull you can you can kind of feel feel the pressure as you're uh, pushing the mill through with these it's kind of a feel thing so you can tell if you're I think you can tell if you're taking it too far or not and I was pretty confident I could get those last couple cuts done but now I know that definitely next time I come back I'm bringing a fresh blade with me or two depending how much lumber I'm gonna cut up but anyways that's gonna be everything for me today i really appreciate you guys watching and i'll see you next time